Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben Barnett and I create all things film and tech that may prove beneficial for you in the creative world. So here I have the iPad Air 4th generation and the brand new Apple Pencil 2nd generation. I have already provided an unboxing and basic features video on the iPad Air so check that out in the link above or in the description below. So as everybody knows, most of Apple's products contain the leaflets with the basic features and also some quick instructions. So you can have a quick scan through of the different features that the pencil offers, but I'm just going to put this to one side as these are fairly easy to use. The main features of this Apple Pencil second generation is its magnetic flat surface. It also prevents the pencil from rolling across a flat surface, which minimizes the risk of damaging it. Now let's see how strong the magnet is you should hear a very clean snap to the side of the iPad. As a result of this magnetic feature, it allows the pencil to wirelessly charge when attached to the iPad Pro or the iPad Air. This can also be seen as a problem as it does restrict the pencil only to those two devices. Compared to the first generation, this pencil is slightly bigger and it's also got a little bit more weight added to it. This may be because of this magnetic attachment. It also has a clean, well-finished look compared to the first generation where it seems quite plasticky and you had that Thunderbolt connection at the top. It turns out that the magnets inside the pencil and on the iPad are pretty strong. As you can see, when connecting for the first time, the iPad brings up these list of features. This section allows you to try out the different features include writing your name and transferring it over to text. Other really cool features include the double tap on the flat surface for the eraser. This saves time and effort to find the eraser on the screen. The pen allows you to shade or use thin lines from its pressure sensors. Speaking of pressure sensors, the tips on the Apple Pencil are fairly large and clean. However, it's unfortunate that there are no extra tips in the packaging. You can go onto Apple's website and buy a pack of four for £19, which works out as £4.75 per tip. Now, this Apple Pencil second generation will set you back at a cool £119. Now, is it really worth that much? I'd strongly recommend this accessory for iPad users out there, especially if you have the latest one. I'd also recommend this for the pro users out there. That includes people that work in the creative industry or they use it in an office-based job. One of the main things that concerned me using the pencil was the ability to be able to put my hand on the screen. Unfortunately, when trying out, it didn't work as effectively when you just use the pencil tip on the screen. My favourite feature has to be the ability to bring notes up without having to unlock the lock screen. This is a really cool feature, especially if you're in a meeting and you're required to take notes, or you're in a lecture and you just want something quick and easy to use. The magnets on this are quite strong, and so you should not lose your pencil. I even did a quick test to see how well the pencil would stay onto the side of the iPad. If you found this video helpful, then why not give it a like? Let us know down in the comments if you have any questions regarding the products. And if you want to see more content like this, then why not subscribe?